Yeah, this is why, like, I'm not a beauty guru. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really great day. I'm doing pretty all right myself. I do have a little bit of like a cold allergy situation going on though. I'm pretty sure it's the weather's fault though because honestly, what is even happening out there? Yesterday morning, I woke up to like a foot of snow. Where did that even come from? How did that even happen? It was like 60 degrees the day before and then all of a sudden it's just like snow. You guys, I don't even know what Kentucky is at this point. Ah! Oh, what? Ah! Anyway, it is just like absolutely messing everything up in here. So I'm very sorry if I sound a little bit strange in this video, but today we're going to be doing a really quick unboxing of this month's Cult Crushes box. Now it appears that my mailman got into the spirit of the name and um, it's just a little bit crushed in. So hopefully everything in here is nicely intact and nothing is broken. I'm gonna go for a tiny box cutter today. Apparently my box cutting skills still freak people out. So I'll go for a small guy today. But I am super duper excited to get into this box. Cult Crushes has been killing it recently. It has been really, really good. For those of you who do not know, Ricky's Cult Crushes is an $11 a month box with free shipping, which is fantastic. It comes with all sorts of really cool like beauty and makeup products, sometimes like fashion-y stuff as well. And if you are a Cult Crushes member, you also get 25% off the online Ricky's store, which is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get in here and see what it's like. Last month, we got a full-size eye palette, which was fantastic. So I'm really really excited. Oh, okay I'm already seeing some stuff that is pretty exciting to me first off We have a sticker and I really enjoy stickers for some reason I have another one of these downstairs, but I think they're fun and next up something I'm super duper excited about I have already received one of these and I Ricky's like subscription in the past before I think it was actually my very first first Ricky subscription, I want to say. But this is the Ricky Care Sponge. I actually really, really like this. Typically, I'm not a huge fan of like beauty blender kind of knockoff sponges. They seem to be too hard and like, you know, <laughs> dense I guess but this one I do really really enjoy so I'm excited to have another one I actually have been needing to go get another beauty blender but I've been too cheap and too lazy to actually like go purchase one or even buy one from like the online so super duper excited to have yet another one. Oh, guys I also forgot to mention that every single month the box is curated by like an influencer so this is our influencer for the month she has some beautiful beautiful eyeshadow going on so she has curated this box and selected stuff that she would like to go in it and there's also a little thing on the back here that tells you like what's inside the box. You guys, I'm seeing a sneak peek of something at the bottom of this box, which I'm super duper excited about. And I'm really, really hoping it is what I think it is because I'll be kind of sad if it's not, but I am going to save that to last. Let's go ahead and get all the other little items out of the way. All right, you guys, next up in here, we have something from Palladio and this is a liquid eyeliner in the shade black. And typically I'm not a huge fan of getting eyeliners in subscription boxes because they're always pencils. Every single time they're like a pencil and I'm very used to using like a liquid liner. And if you guys cannot tell, I'm not currently wearing a liquid liner, which is very, very unusual for me. And it's because I have been out for a couple of days, which is like unheard of in my life. So I currently have no liquid liner on. I feel like I look like a naked mole rat without liner on for some reason. What is that? That freaky thing. <laughs> So I am super duper excited to try this out. Hopefully it works out well. Alrighty, next in here we have LA Girl Pro Prep HD High Definition Soothing Face Primer. And I've actually, I've never tried this before, I don't believe. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little dab on the back of my hand just to see what it feels like. Just from the appearance of it, which I'm sure you guys can't even see because it is like basically clear. It's pretty translucent. I'm guessing it's gonna feel very like silicone-y, kind of like the Smashbox Primer. And yes, it does. It feels very, very soft and silicone -y. I can tell it's filling in just a little bit of like the pores on the back of my hand. I don't know if you guys will be able to see a difference, but this one has the primer on it here and this one does not. So I am definitely excited to try that out. Hopefully it will be somewhat similar to the Smashbox primer because since it's from LA Girl, I'm guessing it's a little bit cheaper than the Smashbox primer, but um, I'll give you guys a price on this. Alrighty, next up in here we have something from the House of Lashes. So we have a... <laughs> So we have a pair of fake lashes here and I always really like the little boxes these come in. They are super duper cute. I like the light pink and the blue. I got mine in the style Temptress and these are handmade with love. And this is what they look like. They're just very like fluttery, little flirty maybe. And they have a very thin, thin band. As you guys are probably aware, I'm very, 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 very bad at putting on fake lashes, but these are super cute. I definitely will give them a try. Alrighty guys, we have one final thing in this box and I'm so super excited because I can't tell you how many times I've almost purchased this palette. Like I, 
I, I don't know how many times. Every time the balm has one of those 50% off flash sales, I almost buy this palette, but I just never did it. I don't know why. But this is the Meet Matrimony palette from the balm, and I'm so excited. I'm very, very used to getting samples from the balm in subscriptions, and typically they're those little tiny little square books with one like very, very small sample in it. So to have something like full size from the balm is just really exciting to me. And here is the palette. Oh, I'm just so very excited to have something full size. You guys don't even know. Typically those little samples are like the size of one of these pans, but that's like the whole box and in the inside you have like a fourth of one of these pans and that is your sample. I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys some swatches real fast. I'm pretty excited to try these out. Like I've said, I've wanted to purchase this a billion and a half times, but I always just end up cheaping out. Alrighty guys, so here they are swatched very quickly and terribly. A few of them are on the lighter side, so they're a little bit difficult to see. The pigmentation looks all right. Some of them are a little less pigmented than I thought they would be, but hopefully they look really nice on the eye. I personally am really liking this one here, which is kind of like a reddish burgundy, kind of like my uh, Hawkins Middle School hoodie. And this one is Matte Kumar. I think it's really pretty, and then a few of them are also really, really nice. I think a lot of these could be used as really awesome transition shades and yeah, I'm pretty excited. Alrighty guys, I have like absolutely nothing on my eyeballs right now, pretty much just a little bit of mascara and just a tiny bit of eyeshadow in the crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap some of this on and maybe try out this eyeliner and see uh, how everything works out. Glasses are off and I cannot see you all at at all, so hopefully you stay in focus. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a couple of different colors off here and just try them on the eyes just to see how they apply. <laughs> I literally ran out of breath saying that sentence. I'm gonna try out this Matt Lopez right here. It looks like a very pretty, like, uh, camely color shade. Wow, like literally all of my makeup is gone underneath my eye pads. I would love to figure out a way to uh, prevent that from happening. If you guys have any tips and tricks, that would be amazing because it just like rips off <laughs> my entire foundation every time I take off my glasses. to deepen that up a little bit, I think I'm gonna take this matte reed down here and try it. Ooh, I do have a little bit of fallout going on right here on the side of my face, so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that away really quickly. Hopefully it doesn't stain. I guess I should probably actually turn to like where you guys could see what I'm doing. This is why like I'm not a beauty guru. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna really quickly take some of this Matte Kumar underneath my lower lash line. Alrighty guys, really quickly I'm gonna try out this liner here. I'm gonna give it a good little shake because I hear something rattling in there. And it looks like it is a felt tip applicator. Uh, this is gonna be difficult for me. I'm gonna try my best here. Alrighty, that went on pretty okay. It was a little bit stiff. It did tug on the skin just a little bit, but it's decently black. Not the deepest black ever. It does have a bit of like a gray cast to it, but at least it's pretty matte. So, so far, so good. I'm hoping it stays put throughout the day. Alrighty, so the liner and eyeshadow are done. I'm gonna really quickly fix my lashes with this little set here from Lancome. I have the Lancome Booster XL, and then I have the Lancome Defensils uh, mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on really, really fast and try to just make my eyelashes a little bit more voluminous. I would go ahead and try out the fake lashes, but honestly, I don't have 40 minutes to try to figure out how to put them on my eyeballs. All right, you guys, so everything is on. The eyeliner, the eyeshadow, and this is uh, what I slapped on my face. Not exactly the best look ever, but it's on there. I think it looks pretty decent. The eyeshadows might not be the most pigmented ever, but I think they built up pretty well and they blended out okay. So hopefully that entire segment of me trying stuff on wasn't completely out of focus, because I literally cannot see like an inch in front of my face without these glasses on. So um, that was everything in the box. And honestly, I think this is an amazing value. $11, we get a full size palette, a beauty blender, we got some eyeliner, what else did we get? We got lashes. Like, this is pretty amazing. Oh, primer, primer? The primer's already lost. I'm very good at losing things. But this is really, really amazing just for $11. These are full-size items. I mean, I know it's $1 more than, like, Ipsy or Sephora Play or Birchbox, but for me personally, this is 
the best deal. I'm very, very fond of Ipsy. I love Ipsy. I get three of them, as you guys know. But Ricky's has honestly just been knocking it out of the park these past couple months, so I'm super duper excited about it. I hope they keep it up. I hope this type of like value is always what they're going to send out in their boxes, because if so, I think that this is going to be the box to beat. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. You guys do not even know. You guys are the absolute best. I love you so very much, and I hope to see you in my next video. But until then, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! <laughs>